Hello, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to go around the land on my bicycle and show you a few spots. Only joking. Today I want to show you how I built my pedal powered washing machine. So I got an old broken washing machine, an old broken bike, put them together with spending very little and I've got a working washing machine. <laughs> so hopefully this will give me the cardio I need to lose a few pounds and clean clothes for free. What I want to do is take off bits and pieces that I don't need and also the drum can't move around like this otherwise the chain is going to fall right off. So I think I'll remove these springs and stabilizers and replace them with something solid in place. We'll see what I can find for that. I'm going to keep the motor and some other bits and pieces. I, I might need them in some other project, so might as well keep them. So I found some offcuts of 20mm hollow sections, so I'll replace these stabilizers and these two springs at the top. I think I might be able to use some of the same bolts. Yep, yeah, should be fine. Yeah, I got this piece of steel in, so now I'm just going to drill two holes and put in the same bolt. This is the first stabilizer I changed, and the, the other one at the bottom here. And these two had big springs, which I replaced. Here and here. Now the drum is super secure. I can't even move it. Okay, now I want to put some legs on it so it'll be easy to attach to the pallet using the same bolts again, hopefully. Once I have it on its side, I'll just extend the drainage pipe and glue on another piece. For now, I'm planning just to empty the washing machine out onto a lower terrace, which we don't use. But I will be making a filter. I need to make some activated charcoal for that. But there's a fire ban at the moment, so I'll have to wait. I've decided to keep the axles still attached to the cassette. I'll just uh, remove all the spokes and then pull them through. And I've got an 80mm long size 13 bolt, which I put through the axle and tighten it onto a bolt, and then I can screw it directly into the back of the drum. Time to make the frame to keep the bike up. I've got some scrap hollow section I can use. I might be able to keep a couple of the old welds as they, they look like they're still okay. Just cut everything up to size with the smallest grinder in the world. Okay, let's get ready for welding. I'm not the greatest welder, especially with my crappy inverter, but here goes.
Not amazing, but okay. My next building video will probably be about um, continuing building my outdoor kitchen. At the moment it only has a pizza oven, but I, but I plan to add a clay tandoor oven and a worktop so we can use it as a studio outside to record our recipe videos. So if this kind of thing interests you, hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. I tried making one frame for the back and attached I attached the front to the to the washing machine but when I tried it on the side of the washing machine bent and the chain loosened so I decided to make a frame for the front end too and then I just bolted onto the other one and the pallet now for a coat of paint So if you use gears like this, I would recommend before, when you tie the, the bike frame and the washing machine and everything to the, to the pallet, that you put the chain on the second or third before last. So then if it stretches or things bend, you can just bring it up and tighten it. Also, in fact, this was on my, on the second one, on the second gear. But then when I had the washing machine full of clothes and water, it just started pulling the washing machine and bending. Um, so then I flipped it up to the next one, to the first gear, which is easier. And now it's nice and taut and the way it should be. I also cut out the side just because it was rubbing against the side of the washing machine here. So I just cut it out like that. It's not touching it. And that's pretty good. Okay, let's wash some clothes. Step one, fill the washing machine with clothes. You want to go in, Mum? You want to go in? Step two, turn the water on. And fill it up. Step three, put your clothes detergent in. Turn off the water and get pedalling. Put a 25 minute timer on. Okay, that's the timer, 25 minutes is up. Step four. Release the drain. Release the Kraken. Oh, it's so much lighter without water. <laughs> okay, once it's emptied, just run the water. Let's cycle for five to rinse out the clothes. Five to ten. After five minutes, I'll close the drain again, let it fill up, and give it another rinse. It really does run smoothly for now, we'll see how it goes. It is a bit too big for Sarah, which is a good thing really. I could always change the seat and frame into a sitting back type of bike if I want to in the future, we'll see how it goes anyway. Okay, so I bring the drain back up, clip it onto the back here. And let the water fill up again. Okay, washing machine is full again, I can close the water. And give it a good five minutes of a rinse. For some reason it feels lighter now than it was when it was dirty. <laughs> it's really not that bad, it's quite smooth. Okay, after five minutes, open the drain again. Release the Kraken. And five last minutes, five more minutes for the last time, so it was 25 to wash, five with the first rinse, five with the second rinse, Five for a spin dry, so that's 25, 40 minutes of cycling, which is some pretty good cardio.
I can see the water coming out of the drain is pretty clean, so that's a good sign that they've been rinsed properly. Okay, that's five minutes up. So we're done. All that's left to do now is hang the washing up. Operation Paddle Power Washing Machine, success! <laughs>